in focus. Okay. Hello guys and welcome to the Lost Book Reports. Uh, today I'm kind of doing an impromptu in my mailbox because I have stuff, I have books, and also because I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be at the Los Angeles Times Book Festival this week. Sometimes my brain has to catch up to what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books this weekend, and so I'm not going to have time to film this in my mailbox, so I'm doing it early now and posting it early, because also I have an announcement or two or stuff I want to share with you. And um, i got three announcements I want to share with you. But let's start with what I have, and I don't think... Ooh, I might have gotten some net galleys, but I'll check that later. Alright, uh, the first thing I got was How to Be Interesting, The Ten Simple Steps by Jessica Hagee, and this actually should have been the last thing I said. Basically, this book, I saw it in, uh, I was actually in FedEx, and I was waiting while my mom made copies, and I just started reading it, and it's just really interesting. And basically, it just, like, it gives you tips, and it's like, take a daily vacation, um, keep moving, uh, think, think not a, wait, think abundance, not scarcity, and then it talks and gives motivating quotes and stuff like that. But overall, I just find it to be just such a cool, uh, book and cool concept that I've kind of made a mission to do a project, so I guess I'll talk about that now, this is one of the topics. Um, I'm going to do a project, and it's going to, I'm, pretty much most of everything I'm going to be posting is going to be on my other channel, Kelsey the Desperate Housewife, link below if you want to subscribe. Um, and basically, I'm going to try to weekly, I don't know if I'll be able to do it weekly, but I'm going to try to do it weekly, um, accomplish one of, wow, I'm actually getting everything done today, accomplish one of the tasks. So, one of the first things actually that it says, for instance, like, talk to strangers is the first one. And I decided, I had an idea that I was going to do anyways, and then I realized, hey, I could actually use this as my talk to strangers segment. And basically what I am going to do at the Los Angeles Festival, Los Angeles Times Festival of Books, it's a mouthful, is I'm going to do a hashtag, um... The Lost Reviews, the Lost Interview, the Lost Interview, hashtag Lost Interview is what I'm thinking of, the Lost Interviews, and um, basically I'm going to go around and I'm going to find readers and book bloggers, and I'm going to ask them questions, and it's going to be fun and silly, and see, I got candy that I'm going to be giving you for participating, and... I really hope that I meet some of you there. I hope that you are there. Let me know if you're going to be there. Find me if you're there. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram to know where I'm going to be as well if you want to participate in this. And if you also have any questions, book-related questions that you want me to ask people, let me know. Um, so yeah, so that's that. That's what I'm doing. That's one project and then one more project this weekend. Um, so yeah, that should have been the last book I did. Next, I got from Penguin, uh, 1,000 Feelings for Which There Are No Names by Mario Giordano, and it's just a bunch of, it's a book about feelings, and from what I remember when they asked me about this book, if I wanted to review it, is that they basically, this author is, I think, from Germany, and he was trying to, as I say this, I could find out for you. From what I remember, though, he basically was trying to write a book. And during his writer's block, he started writing this. And basically, this became a book. Yeah, he's from Germany. And so... It looks like it'll be a fun, interesting book, and when I'm done going through everything and then actually reviewing it, it'll be great to just have on my table. I love table books um, for decoration. I have quite a few. But yeah. Um, next is 
I won this in Goodreads, and it's the Baby and Toddler Cookbook, and it's supposed to be uh, fresh homemade foods for a healthy start. No, I'm not pregnant. Uh, this was one of those books that I saw on Goodreads, and I do. I've already decided I know I want to um, hand make all my kids' food. I want to, um, you know, mush their peas myself and pretty much actually make it as natural and stuff as possible, mainly because I have gluten allergies, my husband's lactose intolerant, so chances are my, our kids are going to be, and on top of that, they're just going to have a really tasteless life, I guess. But, so I just kind of, to be more aware of that, I'm already making the conscious effort to do that. So I saw this, and I entered it. Um, with my luck, though, of course this book is also a, like, Goodreads first, which means if you review it, then you get more chances of reviewing other books, and I was like, oh great, because I mean, it's not like I was planning on actually reviewing this book anytime soon, but what I can say about the book from what I was looking through is it's a beautifully done cookbook. It's gorgeous, and it's by Walden Owen Press, and uh, like they talk about foods that are good for your kid as well as um, when you should start, allergy awareness, and so it's more than just a recipe book. It has like things that as a mom you might not know or you, you would normally probably have to Google and read a hundred different things. It's all right here. So I'm, I'm really actually excited and I was enjoying going through this and some of the stuff is stuff I can make now for myself to eat, but so yeah, I just, it, I, I'm ex very excited and happy to have this, and it's so pretty, uh, but yeah, just weird that. Oh, and it's by uh, Karen Ansel and Charity Ferraria, Ferraria, Ferrari, Ferrari. But it's a beautiful book, so thank you very much for sending that to me. And then the next book I have here is not for myself, but it's for you guys, and as you guys know, it's my favorite book by John Green, Paper Towns. And so I'm going to be seeing John Green this weekend at the Los Angeles Book Festival. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a book for him to sign, and I'm going to give it away to you guys. So keep your eyes peeled for that. This will be signed and being given away very soon. So that is it. That is all I have to show you today. It's very quick and easy in my mailbox. Uh, please, 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 uh, oh, this has nothing to do with it, but the, for this weekend, please leave questions for me to ask, games for me to play, quiz questions maybe too, uh, and with the answers, please, and please see me if you're going to be there, let me know if you're going to be there, I really cannot wait to meet everybody, and I have such a great time every time I go this year, or every time I go, every time I go, I have a lot of fun, and I have to have fun this year. <sighs> anyway, so that is all, um, and make sure to check out the rest of my videos and my blog. Thumbs up, subscribe, see you later.